Doom be doom be doom. Doom 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 wah. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Thor News Economic Doomland. Well, this changes things. Ha! Huh. Economics, man. What are our financial instruments? What are credit default swaps? Wait. The madness, as you know, is like gravity. All it takes is a little push. <laughs> now, I want you to choose your next words very carefully. There were other people. Why should you be the only one involved? But I am involved. We are all involved. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... Welcome to Asteroid Fight Club. I'm your host, Thor. Today we have, well, everybody's talking about Dow Jones 20K. I'm talking about a $20 trillion debt. And it's weird, I had an experiment on Twitter yesterday or the day before where I tweeted anybody talking about politics, and whether it be Trump or other. I said, hey, would you care to comment upon the $20 trillion debt? And I had absolutely no takers. So I got this crazy idea, man. Why don't we all have a party when we hit 20 trillion? It's a, I don't care about the laws of physics and diminishing returns in a fiat currency age. So let's just party it up like there was no tomorrow. Because one of the main reasons I got into the truth and the truth community is I started having nightmares about hyperinflation and currency collapse back in 2006. The lawless period spoken of in the Holy Bible and the Book of Revelation. We're well, talking about plague of madness, wackos everywhere, mothers bashing their babies' brains against brick walls because they're tired of their cries because they're hungry. Streets slick with slaughter, rape, murder, pillage everywhere. If the dollar collapsed, within a seven-day force majeure span, it would be absolute hell on earth, unlike anything you've ever imagined. And fiat currencies have happened 33 times throughout history. And fiat currency is any currency backed by nothing or the full faith and confidence of your government. I was asking when our government shuts itself down, I'm like, hey, what is, what is the dollar backed by? And I guess the answer is a really powerful military. <sighs> so, you know, it's while we are on the verge of Republicans and Democrats going at it in some matrixy civil war, I want to remind everybody we have a lot of serious problems and nobody seems to give a crap about the solutions. Man, so it is time for us to come together. Whether it be like, for an I don't give a crap about the future party, or like, I give a crap about the future party. Know that presidents are basically mascots who are put up there to take all the blame for everything. And then Congress, which is like, what, 535 members that you can only name like 15 of at best? They do all the crappy crap. And it's a giant group, so you can't really blame any. You just gotta blame them all. But we as people end up blaming each other, which is just nuts, man. You know, totally nuts. Anyway, so this is just a quick and short video while everybody's going, oh my God, will the Dow Jones hit 20K? And I guess it won't. Because if it couldn't hit it with the Santa Claus rally, it's probably not going to hit it now. And they got to put the brakes on at some point, I would think. But who knows? I could be wrong, but I am more concerned about the $20 trillion debt. So like each of us owes $160,000 or 60000 depending on how I think about it. And that's just crazy to think. Like the day you were born in America, you owe sixty grand, and you got to pay that crap off. It's a weird world, man. And if we don't somehow come together to avoid a giant currency collapse, credit freeze, whatever you want to call it, we will have hell on earth. And it is my belief that prophecy is there to avoid and mitigate damage. And I just cannot agree with people who are like, hell no, let it come. It was written down. So it's got to happen. Like, hey, it's all metaphors. So metaphorically, a lot of it may have already happened. And that God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit never told us to just give up. And it's like everybody's been thinking the end times were here for like 2,000 years. And they still haven't come yet. So let's start planning for a future. I know it's a radical idea. Earthlings getting along. Americans getting along with each other. But um, it's it's the only option we really have. Um, So just letting y'all know, $20 trillion party. Hell yeah. Woohoo! Get on your dancing shoes. We'll all go swimming in this liquidity. Sometimes I think stock markets are like the best way to launder a lot of money out of the United States, but I don't have any money, so it's, it's just goofy thoughts. Okay, I gotta go. This is like a big fantasy, science fiction, mythology action movie. Man, and we got Godzilla's coming in, Mothra's, Dracula's, Frankenstein's, aliens, killer spiders, angry jellyfish, hipster zombies, undead cheerleaders with hooks for hands, and Common Core. And we now have to band together as a people, figure out how we're going to fix this. And we just have to make a conscious decision that humanity can no longer be at war with itself. We can't afford that no more, man. God bless everyone. May the force be with you always. Live long and prosper. Peace out. 
Stay cool and be a genius if you can. Doom, 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 be doom, be doom, 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 wah. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Thor News Economic Doomland. Well, this changes things. Ah, economics, man. What are our financial instruments? What are credit default swaps? Wait. The madness, as you know, is like gravity. All it takes is a little push. <laughs> now, I want you to choose your next words very carefully. There are other people. Why should you be the only one involved? But I am involved. We are all involved. Stay cool.